uh, director of the program. And thank you very much uh, to the comrades who have answered all the questions sufficiently, satisfaction to everyone. There were, there were questions that were directed to me. Fortunately, my colleagues have answered those questions. <laughs> so I'm not going to answer them. <laughs> but uh, just to also say so that we don't say this fellow, we last saw him uh, talking now, he's, he can't talk. He's just uh, the voice has gone on, blah, blah, blah. But thank you for very much for coming uh, to hear us, and I think it is absolutely important that uh, we interact with you. There's one thing you are missing, <clears throat> all of you. Because you are asking questions as if you are talking to the organization that has been here from 1960-something, <laughs> etc., etc. We are not, we have not yet even finished a year. We haven't. But the kind of questions you are asking, is as if this party has been there. Why are you not doing this? Why are you not doing that? <laughs> not a single one of you said, but guys, you have created something that has never happened in the world. <laughs> Just to be, to be honest, <clears throat> to acknowledge things that have happened. There's not even a single country that had a party with only six months that shook all well. political parties. You know, you want, you want to find something wrong somewhere. <laughs> Question that were asked, and I can't uh, respond to the one which uh, <clears throat> our judge said matters in court. You don't talk about them outside of court. Now, if I've been charged, then let us go to court where we listen uh, to accusations or whatever. With regard to the man, I'm just forgetting his name, <laughs> who said that he has raised, <laughs> he has made, a, he has made charges against me. But it's a very wonderful story that we we'll talk one day. How did this man met Zuma? And what Zuma said to him? And where Zuma sent him to do what? For what reasons? Mm. It's a very nice story. Yeah. <clears throat> Partly because Zuma, as one of those who were trained for underground, when he decided to take actions against his organization, he went underground. And this was part of underground work. That Zuma must not say, I've either done this and done this. Zuma must send some very much unknown people to undertake certain things. Those are the rules of underground. I'm just telling you the story that will be told at the right time. Zuma trusted as he always trusts people. Trusted his people. And gave some tasks. Like in the long line of our struggle, there were people who were given tasks, but who sold out. Yes. And I can tell you stories about it. So, I 
I'm just saying to the one who was asking the question, don't worry. You will get the answers at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> and I must also say something about this organization, Mkondo Sisu. Because I believe that uh, quite a number of you, <clears throat> when this organization will be having a few years going up, you will feel that it not to be in Mkondo Sisu is almost committing something wrong. Yes. <laughs> because Mkondo Sizwe is the final answer of the problems of our country. Yes. You might, if you are a funny person, try to find reasons why it is not so. But do not find, because it is absolutely correct. For us, as oppressed people, to stand up and liberate ourselves. <clears throat> if we don't do so, we'll be a funny kind of a nation that praises oppression, either indirectly or directly. I can't understand, and I would never understand that a South African who was here before the arrival of people from Europe, the country was taken, many people were killed in the wars, finally the population was driven to the corners, and the whole world of this country was taken. And everybody has everything. Those who came, there's not a single one who has nothing, except the indigenous people. Now, if we are an indigenous people, you want to criticize people who are saying, let us bring our country back. So, there's something absolutely <laughs> wrong with us. That's why I believe that with time, we will be together. <clears throat> we will be together. If as a journalist, I would be asking very wonderful questions. How did you come to this idea to help us because we are in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> so I will ask that question. Just let us know. Just take us with you so that we can quickly correct the wrongs. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be saying, Mr. Soma, why did you do this? Ask a question which seems to be opposite of what you need to do. And I'm telling the truth. One day when you are old like me, I'm still young though. <laughs> you will say that young man was right. What had happened to us? Why did we ask questions which we wanted to, you know, reduce the correct thing that some of our people were doing? Uh, let me not say much because uh, I know you love listening to me. <laughs> because I did not want to speak, but somebody said, man, talk, please. Just make them happy. Just say something. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> now, one of the points that I wanted to make is that uh, the interpretation of the comrade <clears throat> uh, who is sitting here that I'm standing next to, mm -hmm. This one, this one, this one, this one. You don't know. There are politicians and politicians. This comrade have known from when he was very young yes. in the ANC Youth League. 
But when I picked him up that he is a real politician. Because politics which I <clears throat> defy a scientific politics. This young man. He's a young man to me, don't worry that he's big than me. <laughs> Honest politician. Honest. Clear political. He takes decisions at the right time for good reasons. And I'm happy that today he told what you all did not, did not, did not know. That when I started, after taking a decision to fight the African National Congress on the ground, and I had an opportunity to say we needed to come to correct politics about our country and our operations or whatever. I took a decision to meet all political parties, black political parties, to talk to them about the, the destiny of a black person in South Africa. Because whatever we're doing, having our parties, different parties, etc., we're all missing the point that we are oppressed, all of us, as blacks. Yeah. No matter how much we did not understand, we're trying to fight among ourselves, we're missing the point. Because the white population <clears throat> took a decision to take us out of everything in South Africa. We, all of us, but the single one, no matter how people you could love them. It is a fact. The British lead the debate with the Afrikaners that black people must never allow it to be to have rights in this country. They must have no right to vote or to be voted for. They persuaded the Africans after they met the Anglo Global War and finally they agreed we must never have this at our level. Now you might deny it if you don't want to. Uh, I'm going to look at the Dalamash. I'm going to try to put the mask in the mouth. And say, look at him. Kudum is a way to know. We did it. Whether we like it or not, it is a fact. It is a fact. You must know. There was a conspiracy against black people not to participate in their country, in running of the country, in being voted for or to vote. It is a fact. It was a, a discussion or a meeting of, which was at, uh, what is this place near Johannesburg? Fair enough. Fair enough. They were having a discussion to bring peace and harmony in this country after the Andrew Poor War. The decision was taken. Many of you don't know. That's when we made not to vote, <clears throat> not to participate in the running of the country, and everything. It's a serious matter, it's not a small matter. It's an old matter, but it's a very new matter. It affects us now. It affected us then, it still affects us now. That's the reason why when we said we are coming to peace in our country, many things have been put in laws, in practice, 
in behavior, in finances, in the economy, you will never come out. It's a serious matter. It is a serious matter. So some of us are sitting here <clears throat> working for <clears throat> organizations that give news and we are being diverted to discuss all the other things. If there is a person like my brother here, there is no happiness to say, thanks God, the good people are coming together. What do you want? What do you want? You, 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 you make the news about us being ourselves. We make news about ourselves sent by big fellows with money behind who say, we'll pay you, go and deal with them. That's what it is, if I tell the truth. There's been no wonderful question here that says, but how did we come to this good idea that the black people must come together and be united like others? Instead of asking that question, why have you joined this one or not that one? Is it not true? It is. For man, Peninsia fool. <laughs> okay, let me leave this up that stuff. <clears throat> Just to tell you, somebody asked a question about Zuma being chased away from the ANC, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> you said, you are not going to leave the ANC. You will die in the ANC. But you are forming another organization. Only my brother here understood that fan one. Mm -hmm. The reason why I said I will never leave the ANC is because I love history. I know history. The ANC was established by the, our ancestors. The traditional leaders, our pastors were black, our intellectuals, to defend, to defend the black person who was being suppressed by the whites. And they knew what they were doing, and it was the organization of all of us. They were uniting us because prior to that, the unity was not at that level. Most, all these traditional leaders were in their areas, so to speak. But they realized that the black person is being taken out of his own country whilst living in his own country. And it was important for us to do so. And if we have to die for it, we must. And many have died for it, fighting for our liberation. I know that that situation is always made to be a very polite thing. So that is not a small thing. Many people died, many people stayed in prison. Many were killed for fighting for their rights, tortured to death. Others were thrown into the sea, you never know, never find them again. Can only be a funny nation that says, okay, when is it, when is it? You don't say, let us stand and liberate ourselves. Precisely because that organization was established by those people, some of us will respect that organization which was established by our ancestors. Because it was correct, it was true, it was defending the nation. Now if then the leaders of that organization at a given time turn away from what was given to all of us, 
they are actually undermining our ancestors who were correct and undermining the organization itself, which is our tool to liberate ourselves. And some of us will say, I'm leaving the ANC because it has gone out of the way. It's no longer the ANC, we know. This is the Ramaphosa ANC. And we, said, and we continue saying it. They've deviated, they've moved out of the way. But this organization had made the struggle in South Africa to be known throughout the world. There are many things that they did. They sacrificed, they died. They followed from the organizations that were called the, or whatever in the past. They do not mention that. As me, with a very sore heart, saying I'm not going to vote for the ANC, I want you to understand this. Why I said, much as I will vote for Mkondwesis, <clears throat> but I'll never leave the ANC as a member. I will die the ANC while respecting our ancestors who established the ANC. You cannot take the history of struggle, the history of struggle of the ANC, run away from it when we have sacrificed it. Some of us served years in prison, went to exile. It was not a nice thing, it was not playing soccer. It was a struggle. And if people were changing this organization, giving it to the whites, the oppressors, they are taking even the history to back to the oppressors. And they were saying, I will fight for that, even if I'm in, in the MK. I will fight to get the history of the ANC here to us who fought for this revolution. Yes. So I don't want people to misunderstand because I did not say all of this. I was just making the point historically that I belong to this organization. But when it was still the organization that was established by our ancestors, this one, which now looks funny, led by somebody else. I'm not going to leave that one. This one I'm leaving, I'm not going to vote for. Clear, 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 clear. I don't want one day, now suppose why team Zoom? <laughs> one day, when I'm an old man, I will tell the citizens of this country that you sold out yeah. by creating other organizations, helping the enemy to disperse us so that we don't have a concrete majority. Yeah. Because that's what is done with these little parties that we've in establishing all of us. We must come to a point where we realize the reality. And I'm telling you, this comrade will come to the books of history. He had done something that uh, many would not do because his politics is scientific. And that's why, that's why I think even his action has become a big issue. Because it is a scientific issue. Proper scientific. To say we are closer to our liberation. Let us join together to reach there so that we can help this country in peace with everybody, including the whites, everybody who's here. But for now, this country, there's no peace because black people are like, I don't know how we could describe them. We've got cities. 
in the city, there is what is called, what is this last Salah Kona Line of Mago Forum? Township. Township. Why there is a city and a township? Why? If we ask that question, why there's no city only? There's a city and a township. Should we say fine to stay in the township? Where well, times the toilets are, are not correct? Every other thing? Until when? Coming with Umkondo uh, is we are coming with a solution for this country forever so that there will be peace, there will be harmony, there will be everything. If you don't want it, fine. We'll help you, we'll take you once we make it. Mm. That's why the issue of the black political parties must come together to be one. Because the ones are not there together. Mm. Because <coughs> totally dating and what is going to work this party ever? Going? <laughs> 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 The Dance with the apes. <laughs> if you count it, about a seven point of the clinics of Funeral Benjamin, there are very few. Now, what for the toilet from Kodoma will call? Back when I'm back, there are few. There's a serious, serious period coming which we want to deal with peacefully, fortunately. That's why. When we're moving up and down, we're saying we want to have two thirds majority. Yes. Because we want this to come peacefully, no longer through the barrel of the gun. Peacefully. We must come to our senses, realize that we cannot live like this. A city, I know what? Township, a rural area. Quiet. Where in the rural areas, the way we stay, there's not a single, single hospital. All hospitals in the cities. I don't want to be emotional. I was just telling you that what we are all about is about us bringing this country where it is supposed to be for all its citizens, black and white. We are hating them. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, one day I will, I will, I will have, I'll invite you to lunch with journalists so that I will try to help you, to help you in a job, <laughs> to quicken this thing we are talking about. Agreed? So a man for a bit. So a man one day for so But we like to thank you for being with us today and the questions we have asked. And as you, as you realize, we are serious, as we have been serious historically, to correct the wrongs. We believe there's a lot of wrongs. We can't sit and be happy when our children are, are, are finished by liquor and everything, and think that that is correct. No. And to sit in the country as if everything is fine. It can be. The youth is the citizens of tomorrow. Yes. And it is our duty, it's our duty to ensure that we have the future of our young people who have been charged of this country and making life wonderful. We can't. If we sit, we, we no. I mean, people are killed every other day. We've got police, we've got everything. But people are continuing to be killed. They are employed every other year. We have now become so soft to wrong things. We must stop that. That's what we must do. And we are going to stop it. We are going to stop it. All we need is to be in charge of this country. You will see. What we tell you will happen. Mm. You will walk. Mm. You will walk in the dark. We 
without fearing anybody. Both criminals are going to be put away. Yes. You you must not take us as if we are jokes. We are just stand up one and party jail. No. no. We are correcting the situation of our country. Yes. Fortunately, we know why our country was singled out to be <clears throat> to in mouth colonizer, to be colonized. <laughs> yeah. Now we can't look aside as if we don't know what happened. And we as citizens who don't want to correct that. We think we must live like this all the time. I think it's our time. Everyone who visited us must feel at home. We will never chase anyone away. But we say there must be equality. If you went to those who have money, the banks, and they asked to establish a business, after questioning you a lot, they'll tell you, sorry, we can't help you. That's what happens. So that you remain a semi slave. But if I was white and went there, and said, I want to do a business. After questioning, they said, we've no got the money you want. Mm -hmm. In other words, there is lack of equality treating one another. And I think enough is enough. Enough is enough. Time has come. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at MK as a solution to the problems of this country. And it is. Took from the old ANC, the same. Not the current one, the other one, false. Leo, no, no, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. And that's Mbabu and Mnabandu, our abandoned disease of Shumash. Not care about their own, their own skin. <clears throat> Okay. I'd like to thank the comrades who are here and the ones who have been uh, identified to lead this organization. And indeed, we want to bring changes. We want to have an MK that is disciplined, that respects people, that is standing for the interests of the people. Yes. That's what we want to do. Yes. We don't want to see any one of us doing something wrong. Part of the reason we have said we don't need, <clears throat> we don't need conferences for now as we are establishing our, our part. Those conferences have become fake. People use money, they buy people to vote for them and do everything. No, we are saying that is not going to happen in God's